My name is Jeannie Rosal, and I'm the Florence Visitor uh, Coordinator, along with our McFarland State Historical Park. As we enter the courtroom, um, one of our exhibits is regarding Mr. Ernest McFarland. And uh, we should back up a little bit. This is our Florence Visitor Center, but it is also McFarland State Historical Park. And you want to know how did McFarland, how did it become McFarland State Historical Park? Um, the building, as I said, has a lot of history, uh, being the courthouse up until 1891. Um, and then after 1891 up until 1936, it became the Florence County Hospital. And the hospital was here almost 15 years up until 1938. After that, we were the Public Health and Welfare Office. We were a home for the elderly. And then the Pinal County Historical Museum um, featured a museum in this building. So it's been used for many things. Eventually, the building was closed down. Uh, it sat empty, and Mr. McFarland came and uh, purchased the building. It had, was going to go to auction, and uh, he had lived in Florence many years before that and treasured this old building and felt that it should be preserved for mm -hmm. Americans' history. And uh, indeed, he bought the building and donated it to the Arizona State Parks. Now, Mr. McFarland goes back a ways. He was actually in the Senate and helped pass the 1957 Arizona State Park Systems. So you can see back then, um, Mr. McFarland had a passion for many things, and that was just one of the attributes to his accomplished life. Just to take you back a little bit farther, Mr. McFarland also was one of the founders of the Servicemen's Readjustment Act, which is later known as the GI Bill. So this park is named after McFarland, and in this uh, room here we have different exhibits that will uh, exemplify Mr. McFarland's life and all his attributes. Uh, we want to thank him for saving this building, and uh, we indeed treasure it. Every day when I'm coming to work, and I walk across these floors, I come to this courtroom, I wish there was a little window of opportunity to just see how it was back in the day. Um, the courtroom was used at the time after the, the courthouse opened as a gathering place. The farmers and ranchers came here. These double doors were open, and of course they had music, and even on Saturday night the dances were here, and uh, it was, the acoustics in this room are wonderful. And the uh, Presbyterian Church that we have in Florence actually had their first church service in this beautiful courtroom. 